What about his mental state right now, sir? People, people, listen. Read Dr. Loudon's statement, okay? He never opined that the president wasn't fit for the job. He said the president has decisional incapacity. Had, in the immediate aftermath of his wife's death. That diagnosis is three months old. What about the PTSD? He doesn't have PTSD either. He has a variant of PTSD. Had. <laughs> You know what I feel like up there? Like Nero saying Rome isn't burning while everything's on fire. Enough of the metaphors. It's a simile. You want a metaphor? The ship is sinking. Oh, then we don't have to worry about fire. Seriously? Look, you gotta keep it together. Our initiatives are falling apart, meaning you can't. Understood, but you gotta give me something more to work with. We're still waiting to hear back from the HHS secretary with a statement of support for the president's mental health. I'd belt and suspenders this. Already done. I've already called the VP's office and told her we need her public backing, too. Oh, boy. The patient has had an inability to connect with anyone since his wife's death, with the notable exception of his friendship with Andrea Frost, which I believe will have salutary effects. This is part of the latest tape leak. It's going to be everywhere in about 10 minutes. What am I missing here? How does this indict the president's mental health? Well, it does something worse. It indicts his morality. Critics will say he's trivializing his emotional difficulties. By trying to get laid while he's working things out. That's a stretch. Is it? You're a media guy. You've seen what Frost looks like. How would you spin this if you needed clickbait? This is like rifling through your dad's drawers. No, this is like reading your dad's diary. And once you've read it, Can that's we focus it. on the problem at hand, please? You mean the many problems at hand? Sure. Andrea Frost is in the West Wing. I'll make sure the president gives her a heads up. Good. And where the heck is the cavalry? Why aren't administration figures out there defending our guy's fitness? Cabinet's keeping its head down until this blows over. Well, somebody has to come to his defense. I don't care if it's the postmaster general, someone. Andrea, so nice to see you. How's everything going with the science fair? Amazing. There's a 10-year-old who's using VR to demonstrate Schrodinger's cat paradox. Wow. When I was 10 years old, I think I was learning how to spell paradox. You'll be proud when you see what the next generation is up to. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to read about it. Given my present circumstances, my staff thinks making myself available to the press right now is maybe not such a good idea. How you doing, Tom? Ah. Oh. I'm pretty embarrassed. It's kind of like being stripped naked and forced to run through the schoolyard. Well, don't worry about the science fair. I'll fly the flag for the both of us. There is something else. Apparently a few more tapes have been released. I'm not exactly sure what's on them, but I may have talked about you. I mean, nothing inappropriate, but... <sighs> People gossip. I won't take offense. Thank you for being so understanding. Hey, maybe you could bring the winner of the science fair here. I could show them the Oval Office or around the West Wing. That would be wonderful. Okay. <laughs>